everyone and welcome to my channel. I'm so happy to have you here with me today and I'm gonna start a welcoming aboard to all of my new subscribers. I am so happy that you can join me here in my little crafty space and I really hope that you get inspired and that you love everything that I share every week. Okay, so I really hope that you remember uh, these little uh, paper clips that are made using these small clothes pins and as you remember in one of my haul videos I showed them because I got them at the dollar store and I said that I was going to be altering them and um, uh, trying to make them even more beautiful and since they are wooden pieces this is what I created as you can see my plate is full and that is because I used both packages and remember that the pumpkins they come six in the bag and the pie they come four so let me explain what is it that I created uh, with all of these because as you can see I have different um, styles okay so let's get started look at this they are so shiny and so beautiful and this is because I use my Posca markers and if you don't have them of course you can always use your regular acrylic paint and this is how I painted these uh, two pumpkins super beautiful and I use different shades so I really love them and if you see they are really shiny and that's because I used some dimensional magic on top of uh, of each one of them so I had to wait for the paint to be really dry and then I um, coated this with the dimensional magic and I think they look just adorable and they are ready to be used in memory decks cards or something like that you can even use this in your planners if you're a planner girl so these are a good option then I created these other two and look at this I am so in love with this for these two pumpkins what I did is that I used uh, chunky glitter and let me show you I'm pretty sure that you already have this container in your stash but if not you can pick this from Michaels and these are those cute containers that have uh, six different compartments with six different colors and of course I had to use orange and green and I am using regular white glue for this just following the image and if you see they look just adorable of course for the stem because I didn't have any uh, chunky glitter for that I used some glitter glue and uh, this um, this glitter glue I am always picking them up from Michaels so they are uh, at least in my store I find them where all the two dollar beans are so yeah look at this super cute I love 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 this okay and then of course I had to paper piece these two and what I did is that I uh, just outline the shape of the pumpkin and then I created two more layers and if you see I used some foam tape in between layers because of course I wanted this to have a lot of dimension but before putting it uh, over here I used my distress sink all around the edges just to give uh, this beautiful look the stem is created with um, craft cardstock and the leaves I just used regular green cardstock I just hand drew the leaves nothing special but look at this super cute and adorable so these are my six pumpkins and then I created my pies and since I just had four I wanted to create um, different ones so let's see I started with this one and look at this once again I used my Posca markers wait for the paint to dry and then I went on top with the dimensional magic and I think it looks super adorable if you don't have that dimensional magic let me show you this is what I'm talking about it's by Mud Podge 
and this is your new best friend. In case you don't have glossy accents, look at this, great option. So that's what I did with the pumpkins and with the pie. Super adorable, right? Then I created this other one and look at this cutie, oh my goodness. I love, love, love this one. Okay, here I used three different things. Let's start with the crust. Again, I used some glitter glue, super yummy. Then for the filling, I guess, I used uh, liquid pearls and look at that texture. And then for the apple or cherry over here, I used puffy paint. So look at this. Isn't this just adorable? I love, love, love this one. Well, I love all of them, but this is really, really nice. And then, of course, I had to paper this one. And look at this cutie. So adorable. I used uh, craft cardstock for the crust. Again, you know that everything looks better when you use your distress ink. And that's what I did here. And then I am using some foam tape to give some uh, dimension over here. And this sugar that you see over here, that is nothing more but glitter glue. This also comes from Michael's, super adorable. And check out these maple leaves, oh my goodness. Because remember that this has uh, this part over here with the apple. So I just wanted to have something different and to cover this, this part, I used this paper punch, three different colors. This is cardstock and then just glue them over here. And I'm using regular white glue. So it is not that hard to put this together. Okay. And last but not least, least look at this cutie. Oh my goodness. I see so much love this one okay this one comes like this of course without the paint or the glossy uh, thingy so what I did is that I used my acrylic paint and this is the one that I used okay to cover all of the image and then I used my um, Posca markers to paint the pie, but look at the whipped cream, super cute. And for this one, I used puffy paint again, this one over here. And uh, you know that I love creating my own mini flowers and uh, these are super cute. I try to create some flowers in miniature version and this is <laughs> they look just adorable i don't know if they really look like uh, sunflowers but in my mind they do and in my heart they too so i love them and this is the paper punch that i used i have three layers over here one on top of the other glued with the regular white glue and then i used my glitter glue in the centers and i think they look just adorable so what do you think? Do you get this uh, this um, paper clips from the dollar store? I hope you did because look at all the options that you have to decorate them. And if you didn't, I think you can still find them. But if you can't, all you have to do is get a clothespin and then Look for images in your stamps, <clears throat> excuse me. You can use your Cricut or just hand draw them and then fussy cut and create your own images. Okay, as always, the sky is the limit. And uh, all of us crafters, we are very creative and we can always figure a way out on how to create beautiful stuff. But for today, this is my share. I really hope that you like it and if you do please give me a thumbs up also if you want to share with your friends uh, this video i will appreciate that very much 
But in the meantime, thank you very much for watching. Please take care of yourselves. Remember to always smile and let's create something beautiful for this week. And I will be seeing you very soon. Bye.